Hey guys, Shoji Phillips here with my review of Eli Roth's new film, The Green Inferno. This is a movie that I have been waiting to see forever. As you guys know, the movie was actually originally coming out last year at this time from Open Road. Then Open Road has had all kinds of issues and then the movie ended up getting delayed. Then it was looking like it wasn't even going to come out at all. And then, I, then you know, it went up for pre-order on you know, in Germany on Blu-ray. So then uh, lots of people were like pre-ordering it and I was thinking I might have to like really figure out the region free Blu-ray player to finally see this movie because there was no dates going up, no anything. I was like really getting concerned like how am I ever going to see this movie? I know lots of you guys out there were wondering that as well. Then Bloomhouse came in, you know, with their new line, Bloom, you know, Tilt and, you know, gave the movie a release. So I'm so glad that they've finally done this. But I will say though, this is I'm I, it is really cool to see this actually get a theatrical release as well. You know, I know it originally was that it was looking like it was just going to be straight to DVD, or you know, like I said, who knows what was going to happen? Because this is the first time a cannibal movie has been in theaters in like. 30 years, 25, you know, I mean years, because there has not been a cannibal movie, a big cannibal movie in years. There's been some, there was a low budget one you know, in like 2008 or something, I think it was done like found footage style, which was an okay movie. And then like in two, early 2000s, there were a couple really, really cheesy like shot on video ones. But this is the first big budget or bigger, you know, uh, cannibal movie in years and the first one in theaters, like I said, in 25 plus years. So to actually see a cannibal movie in theaters was amazing. I think a lot of the audiences that are going to go to see this movie have probably never seen Cannibal Holocaust, Cannibal Ferox, any of the Cannibal movies. So they're going to be going in as like, like not having any clue of what they're in for. And the movie actually really, really goes for it and really takes it to an extreme level with the violence and the gore and the effects. There are amazing uh, gore effects in this. They were really, really well done. Top-notch, creepy effects. The whole movie had a serious sense of dread to it. And it really, I thought, was seriously effective, really kind of making you sick and nervous about these people, what was going to happen to them. But the, essentially, the stories about this, this girl who was in college and you know her friend in the in the college her dorm mate is Sky Ferreira and I feel like if this movie was filmed now because it was filmed a couple years back I think Sky would have probably ended up going on this trip with them since now she's like so popular I actually met her years back on a movie called um, Putty Hill uh, so I met her a long time ago but um, the movie though essentially about this girl who's uh, kind of wants to sees the outside of her you know her dorm there's like a, a group of these political environmental activists and things like that she starts to kind of like the one guy so she ends up wanting to kind of get into their group she meets someone else in the group who starts talking to her and you know, noticing that she's like looking at the group and watching them and they end up basically inviting her to the group she ends up going along and they basically want to go to the Amazon rainforest to stop this group of this construction crew that's going to go in there and destroy a you know whole the, this tribal's whole home basically because underneath of it is natural resources that people want to get so they go there and plan to plan a protest so they can basically stop the you know what ends up happening you know chain themselves to the you know uh, the construction sites and the bold you know bold bulldozers and things like that of course you know they get there and then, you know, they do the protest and, you know, that protest, that's a very quick part in the movie. And when they're, you know, getting ready to leave, the plane goes down and crashes down where the cannibals are. The, you know, the actual, one of the tribes they're actually trying to protect from the bulldozers. Of course, though, they're wearing all the um, outfits because they wore the outfits that the construction crews were wearing. So, the, you know, the cannibals end up picking them up, taking them to the tribe. And that's basically what ends up happening to them there. Which, if you've seen cannibal movies, you know the level that it goes to. But there is everything in this movie from eating alive and, you know, it, it, it takes it, like I said, to an extreme level. It does not hold back. And I think modern audiences are going to see this movie and have, be absolutely shocked with some of this stuff because they have not seen anything like this. And, and to the level of what this is and how far it goes, because there has not been anything like this in years that take us at this level. I actually really liked the movie. I thought it was actually very effective for a cannibal movie too. Because a lot of that, you know, the other cannibal movies besides Cannibal Holocaust and Cannibal Ferox were not great movies like some of them were kind of kind of poorly done and things like that this one I actually thought it was really good and you know people sometimes have problems with Eli Roth's movies but to me every movie that he's done I have liked I love Cabin Fever uh, I love both the Hoster movies and it actually his movies too always kind of go away with making you kind of not want to do something. Cabin in the Woods makes you not want to go out to the cabin, you know, out into the woods because what could happen to you there? Uh, you know, the Hoster movies kind of makes you not really feel like traveling abroad to certain countries and like risking things and staying in hostels. It really, you don't really want to stay in a hostel after seeing that because you feel like, 
what's going to happen there is going to happen to you. And this one makes you not want to go and go to the environmental groups or risk going to anywhere where tribes could be because, you know, what could happen to you there. So he's always extremely effective at making you not want to do something. And this absolutely does this again, you know, Green Inferno makes you not want to do something as his other movies does and is very effective. Really thought it was a pretty cool movie. I definitely hope they get to do the sequel because I know they want to do a sequel to this. So hopefully Bloomhouse can, you know, produce that as long as this one does well. But like I said, guys, you know, go into this movie, please knowing that you're going to be seeing a very, very, very gory movie. Know that it's going to be a cannibal movie with people being eaten and all that kind of stuff. Don't go into it not knowing that because if, if, if that's not what you want to see and you don't like that idea at all or you don't like Cannibal Holocaust or Cannibal Felix, don't see the movie because that's what this is. You know me, I love those movies. I know they're very shocking. I don't like the animal stuff in this. This movie doesn't have any of that. You know, I'm glad they didn't mess around with that. But I would definitely recommend you guys see this movie. If you guys see the movie too, let me know down below what you guys thought. Anyway though guys, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.